Hi, this is Rich Woodward, and this is a video introduction to Lecture 1 in my series of lecture notes on dynamic optimization. And the purpose of this lecture is to simply uh, set the stage. First of all, dynamic optimization, like all optimization problems, is, is set within a, a family of many different types of problems. There's discrete, there's continuous, there's constrained, there's unconstrained, etc., etc. And these have a great deal in common. And it's worth uh, remembering that uh, economics depends heavily upon the, the, the whole idea of optimization. And yet, there's many types of optimization problems. And perhaps you haven't been exposed to, to them all, but they're, they're, the universe is very large. So what is a uh, dynamic optimization problem? Well, a dynamic optimization problem is simply a problem that ha involves choices in many periods uh, over time. And, and what we're going to start in this first lecture is we're going to take a very simple uh, two-period consumer problem and show that we can solve that in a number of ways. The first and mo perhaps the most important thing that we do in this set of lecture notes is we introduce a bunch of terminology. So there's a bunch of terms that you need to be familiar with. You need to be comfortable with the idea of what is a state variable, what is a state equation, what's the control variable, uh, what's the benefit function and the objective function. All of those terms are, are explained on pages two and three, and you really need to become very comfortable with these in order to um, set up and solve dynamic optimization problems. The next thing we do is we take this very simple two-period consumer problem, we, we, we set it up formally, and then we look at two different ways to solve it using um, uh, very familiar, first of all, using the very familiar um, concept of a Lagrangian, in which we've got a, a simple equality constrained optimization problem. And then we use a vehicle, we're going to call that a vehicle in this case, although it's got a great deal of economic content, called the Hamiltonian, and solve it using uh, optimal control techniques. What we find is that the Lagrangian, that very familiar concept, uh, leads to exactly the same uh, first order conditions that you would get out of the Hamiltonian. And so that's what um, um, reassures us that using this Hamiltonian will get us to exactly the same place as we want to go. What's nice is that Hamiltonian is also a, a vehicle that can be used in continuous time problems, in infinitely um, infinite horizon problems, and it's just a wonderful way to solve dynamic optimization problems. This, the, the final thing that we're going to do these notes is we're going to take a very different approach, in which, call, which is called dynamic programming. And in dynamic programming, what you do is you go to the end of the problem. You solve that very fi the final period problem, and then you step back. And so uh, once you've got that, that value function defining what is the value of arriving at the end state, uh, you can then take uh, take one step back and say, okay, now given that I know that I, what I'm going to do in the at the final period, what should I do in the second to last period and in the third to last period, and so on and so on. So dynamic programming is a uh, a backward induction process. I find it incredibly powerful and intuitive, and I hope you enjoy it too. So um, engage these notes. If you've got comments or corrections. Find the wiki on the web page and, and make notes of those. Send me a, uh, an email message if you've got questions, comments, or concerns. And I, I think that uh, together we'll go through the rest of these lecture notes and really uh, hopefully you'll, you'll get a great deal out of them. Uh, until next time, this is Rich Woodward from Texas A&M. Uh, good luck.